What's up, everybody? Parm Vader here again today, bringing you a whole new podcast. Today we're starting our new podcast, Sith Cheese. I'm here with my co-host, Swiss Sidious. Whoever that is, give a call out real quick. <laughs> also, also known as... Oh, uh, oh, oh I thought Carter. I was... Oh, oh, yeah, he's fuck. Swiss Sidious. Alright, we got my other co-host, fucking Cheese McGee. <laughs> I thought I was the co-co-host. And then we've got a co-co-co-host. AKA, my big titty god, GF. EG, chart, XXX. There's X's in there somewhere, fuck that. Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> my mic was muted, I forgot about it. You should kill yourself. <laughs> Alright, so our first topic of the day okay. is... <laughs> is Nick's gay pride debit card that he was bamboozled by a bank teller. Feel free to start the story, I'm, Nick. I know you already you know, told man, the story, I just forgot to record it. After saying it out loud, I'm so confused. So, I need, I'm switching banks, right? And so, I go to the new bank with my mom, and we're just there. Some dude helps us, he's like, oh, alright, it's taking a while, you know, I'm really bored. Uh, it take like 10 minutes, and then he's like, alright, here, you're all set. It's like, uh, choose one of these cards, and then there's like, the you know, the stupid beach one. one. That I, I don't want that. They have the dog one, and I'm like, I'm considering that. And then if this one looks like fireworks, I'm like, hey, that looks pretty cool. The rest were football teams, I didn't really care about that. So I'm like, here, I'll take the fireworks. Bro, and so fuck then, football teams. So then, you know, um, we, uh, leave, he, like, gives me a wink, and I get super confused. My mom's like, hey, that guy was probably gay, and... You just got the gay pride credit card, so he winked at you. I'm like, what? And you see, I'm I'm so confused. Carter was laughing at me like a lot for months, and so then I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna tear this up, and I'm gonna go get the dog one. And so then, you know, we had to go to a different U.S. bank because we didn't. My mom didn't want to offend the guy. Anyways, long story short, I have the dog one now. But, in the last recording, it was just pointed out to me, it wasn't even the Gay Pride credit card, it was fireworks. No, 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 no. That's the first thing I look at that comes up when I type in Gay Pride debit That's card. That's the one! Fuck. Wait. When I type in so Gay Pride debit card... Is it card, or is it not? It is a Gay Pride debit card. I wish I was a Gay then Pride debit card. Then why is it card. fireworks? The US Bank page says launching the LGBT debit card just in time for Pride, and it's a picture of the debit card you got. So you're trying to trick me. You got fucking No, I said that was the first thing that came up when I said gay Pride debit card. I don't it's like fireworks. you. So. You, you purposely trying to you, confuse you know, me. Why, why, why? See, when I got a debit card, I just got one that was just like blue. I'm like. They I don't, don't have care. any ones that just blue. Bruh, fuck rainbows. But not the gays, the gays are cool. Yeah. Who but, um... Who likes rainbows anyways? Jeez. So... Right, someone's slapping the meat. That's me. I'm eating a Big Mac. <laughs> Aggressively. <sighs> Wait, okay. so... Okay. So that that's it. We should move on to the next topic. All right, next topic. Wait, um, Here we go. Wait, we so got random side note. What so, the fuck? <laughs> you don't get an opinion. Well, okay. You're Here's only three the person. So. What? <laughs> Battlefield's <laughs> telling me that I can't play the DLC maps because I don't have the DLC. Oh my God! This is what we were trying pass. to avoid. The but premium pass is free on the eleven. No, I'm sorry, carry on. Okay. All right. Well, wait, that was wait. cool. Now we're gonna talk about EA, Ubisoft, at and Activision. Oh God, Ethan. The I big three. The roast the shit out of them. EA Go to town. They're terrible. Okay. Honestly, the worst part about EA is that like, they'll just try to scam money out of you any way they can, and then when they they're called out on it, they're like, oh, sorry, we'll never do it again, and by Never we they mean it in the next two months. How to be EA. Okay, let's see. I say we just hand their CEO to send him a lesson or send him a message. I support it. Activision. Activision we can't just continues. hang people though, that's bad. No, it's kinda like you know, imagine if making a video game was making a cake. 
and like some people were making a great cake so EA is like okay make cakes for us and then they go into their bakery set it on fire destroy the cake a few times and then when after they give a cake out because their place has been unset on fire and then they shit inside the cake like this cake is crap <laughs> everyone in the bakery is fired and that's how yeah. this world got shut down did you mean Activision going into Bungie attempting to fix Destiny yeah. when really they should have just fuck it off and let them do their own thing yeah uh, fun that's fact Activision still cutting content from games and selling it as DLC. Huh. Um, Why? Would I get demonetized if I called for someone to burn the Activision headquarters to the ground? Well, then I already said so. we should hang the EA uh, Oh yeah, CEO. that's right. We're hanging EA CEOs, burning Activision headquarters to the ground. This podcast is a beam of fucking positivity. Oh, also yeah. earlier somebody said they hate the gays. So that's cool. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, like that. Hit gays. Uh, Ethan said that. The enemy is in the lead. I Ethan hates the gays that. because he's Didn't a big titty like... goth GF and they're the competition. No. Look, Ethan, just because you're a big titty goth GF and you hate what competition doesn't mean you have to hate the gays. Okay? I don't there's, hate no the gays. For, there's no need for such hatred. You're such an angry man, alright? Alright, well back to it. Uh, is that all we've got on this topic? We all just hate everyone? Ubisoft no, no. is kinda okay. Ubisoft is no, decent No, Ubisoft sometimes. is not okay. What did Ubisoft do? Roast the shit out of them. Okay, like every single game that they release, like at E3 or anything, it's like, okay, look at this amazing game. And like, it doesn't look anything like the game. It'll show, in the trailer, it'll show features in the game that aren't in the game. Like, Rainbow Six Siege, like, if it was games that, like, features that weren't there at launch and then came in, I'd be okay. But, like, there's no helicopter drop on the house. Okay, that's, like, a small thing, but if you look at the graphics, they're not even comparable. Like, the shaders in the e, uh, E3 were amazing. Why don't we talk about the fact that Ubisoft has been taking the same, uh, Assassin's, like the very first Assassin's Creed recently, and then selling it again for like the past five years. Yeah, 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 they're changing yeah, yeah. combat every two games. They change the combat like every two games. They but never change the combat. It's literally the exact same game as the first. No, I'm gonna you... make a whole lot of no. people mad with this, but remember when uh, they remade Skyrim like six times? We're not talking about Bethesda. No, we're bringing Bethesda up right now. Remember, uh, what do you I think like they're bringing Bethesda. Skyrim out on next? Yeah, but your opinion's hey, wrong. Okay. <laughs> but you see, they released it six times, but like, you could just not buy it. That's like, true, yeah, but... If you already had you it. You could just stop itching about and just don't buy it. Hey, Remember I when EA tried like, to use that as a strategy? It was like they sold a broken game. They, they sold a fully made game, it was just like... Yeah, but hey, London, they're, that's EA trying to sell a game to start off with. This is basically just Bethesda saying like, hey, We've released this game before, but we're gonna improve the graphics and then release it on this other console. Yeah, and I honestly want it. Consoles. I honestly like, want I don't, Skyrim. Skyrim. I have much yeah, less sure. of a problem with Same. Bethesda because Bethesda is actually, you know, decent. But and the um, fact that the, uh, Todd Howard basically threatened to take on all of Sony and PlayStation if they didn't allow. Uh, like mods and stuff for uh, Bethesda games. I, I did still see that. Allowing. That was pretty baller as shit. Todd Howard is a fucking gangster. Can we get him on the stream? No, but Sony still Everyone has, email like, Todd shit Howard and get him on the stream. Why you did they ruin Assassin's any... Creed? Okay, back to Assassin's Creed though. The combat has changed a lot because they'll just copy whatever he's doing. Yeah, they went right from now. one hidden blade to two hidden blades. And then they, they moved it to it. Egypt. They ruined it. No, because like the first like two kind of assassins, Altair and Ezio, their combat was more slow and like people had basically health bars and like it was kind of hard to kill people. Uh, then in Assassin's Creed 3, they basically saw that the Arkham games were doing good, so it's like, oh, let's just copy that. Copy that. Copy that. And so for like the next few games like from Assassin's Creed 3 
to basically it changed in Origins. All those games just had Arkham Combat. And right. then in Origins, they changed it to some... It, it was no longer an Assassin's game. It was some Warrior's dumb... Warrior's Creed. Like, yeah, Warrior's Creed. It wasn't... It wasn't Assassin's... my stealth action game. Well, let's talk it about was the an fact RPG. that with, uh, yeah. with Asu, they're basically just throwing the whole... Uh, uh. That whole idea out the window and just making an RPG. Yeah, they, they're just making RPGs now. It's no longer Assassin's Creed. I just I want my stealth action game. But I just like to make, or I like to just uh, spread my opinion that uh, Black Flag is the best Assassin's Creed. No, uh, no, no, no. Two. Anytime, Three is the best. Anytime uh, you add Pirates to something, it gets better. Pirates of the Caribbean is the greatest movie ever. Changed my mind. Two. Three is the Assassin's, best. Assassin's Creed 2 is the Black Flag. Three. Alright, um, I've never played an Assassin's Creed game, so I have no input. I have every Assassin's Creed game. I have I not... played them all. No. Do no, I have but them? Wasn't, yes. I always hear that the best part of Black Flag is the part where you're not an assassin. You're a pirate. Yeah, the pirate part where you're Creed. just ship combat. But... The thing is, wait, what was there to say? I'm still trying to spoil it because I remember after uh, Assassin's Creed 3, because there's like all these rumors that are saying they're gonna make like a uh, Civil War Assassin's Creed next. I'm kind of disappointed if they never made that. Guns fire too fast I, in Civil War. I wanted uh, an Assassin's Creed like Civil War era type game. Huh. Oh. Uh, no, but, um, I don't know, the Assassin's Creed is just trying to get away from the Assassin's Creed deployment, but I don't know. I don't like Ubisoft's integrity, integrity as a company, neither EA or Activision. Their integrity is just awful. But, wait, did, um, did... Bob, does that ever come out with Arena? Is that out yet? Or like the Elder Scrolls game on the phone? Maybe. Uh, I don't pictures. believe that's come out yet. No. Why? It's out. Oh, no, it's, you can pre-order it. Isn't Nestle part of the big three? Oh, what? it's coming out in like three days. Oh, yeah. You know, what why Nestle would we talk about wrong? video games when we can talk Nothing. about chocolate and Nestle? I mean, like, yeah, you know, I mean, man? Uh, have you ever drank chocolate milk? It's basically normal milk, but cheating. It yeah. comes from brown cows? Yeah. Chocolate milk's not real. <laughs> it changed my mind. Did you know that like 40% of Americans actually think chocolate milk comes from uh, brown yeah. cows? I feel like that's definitely a fudge statistic. I don't know, London. No. Have, have you... Have you... Met? Have almost, one. almost anyone, like the American population? I met like... Five people one time. That was too much. Oh, yeah. That was too much for me. I haven't left my house since. Oh, yeah. But so, like, okay. I just feel a lot of developers. Soon as something does, is good, they copy it. Soon as Overwatch succeeded, and like, oh, we don't have DLC. We're gonna keep continuing. We just have like loot boxes. Everyone's like. Great idea. We need to do loot boxes. But EA was like, okay, how can we make people buy loot boxes more? It could affect the gameplay. Call of Duty. Hey, Overwatch has seasonal events. Why don't we do that? I, I feel like just everyone will copy whatever does good and then just not do it well. Will not execute it well. I feel like as soon as Activision tries to copy what someone else is doing, they do it for me. Yeah. No, no way. Like, I don't. You don't see any new games out there. Like, I want a modern shooter on the on a next gen console, and I don't think we haven't gotten a new modern shooter or anything past World War II besides I want, shooters. I want a better Destiny game. I want a Destiny Carter. not torn apart before long. What about but, Rainbow Six? That's kind of just set in modern. Yeah, but well, it's not that, like that's a realistic shooter. I want like more of yeah. a it's, Call of Duty Battlefield. I request yeah. an arcade shooter. But, but 
Guys, what about like Adidas? What? What, Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> this is why you don't talk. <laughs> this is why you're the big titty dog shit, and you don't get anything. So, uh, so we can change it to chocolate and Nestle, but we can't take it to Adidas and shoes. Yeah. No wait, what the fuck are you? No wait, I want to hear this now. Take it to shoes. I want this to go to shoes. Go with it. Run with it. This is your horse. Ride it. I, I don't never know. That I was just trying to bring up the fact that you guys are talking about how you're so disappointed by like EA and Activision and Ubisoft, but have you ever been disappointed by Adidas, like a pair of shoes? Are you like? You it's so weird. Are you plugging shoes right now? <laughs> so like, Adidas, if you might want to like, hit me up with like an ambassadorship or whatever. That's all right with me. All right, moving on. If you're ignore him. Listening. Uh, okay, next topic. Him. We've got ads coming to Netflix. Hit me up on my email. Has the okay. Has the I don't want think me to. those are actually ads. I thought they. I think they. I feel they're like their intentions were good. I feel like the feel intentions, like intentions weren't poor. Were good. I feel like it was just received terribly, based on people like me spreading false fake news. Wait, what are we talking about now? Ads going to Netflix. Netflix. Oh. Yeah, they were like, just testing it. I don't think they're actually going to go through with it. Especially since everyone, they, they're like, but what if we tried to show you other shows you like? Fair. And everybody just they're shit on it. They're advertisements for their own shows and movies. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, hey, you guys like TV shows. How about some more TV shows we think you'd like? And they're like, no, fuck you. All right. It's basically just people like I don't want my shows to be interrupted. This is this is what I paid not to happen. And now, since we've basically just killed that topic immediately, we're going to Nick's requested topic of Spider-Man. Yes. Nick, go ahead. You're the only okay. one that really can talk. Okay. Okay. There's a new Spider-Man game. Really only one excited for this game. Why are you not excited for Spider-Man? I am excited for Spider-Man. It's know. like the Sinister Six are in Spider-Man. It looks good. I'm not it, that involved the, with comic books. I don't know who the Sinister the Six quick, are. Um, uh, you need to learn. So, it looks really good. The stupid quick time events and stuff like that, that doesn't look really fun. And the Ubisoft uh, trailers, that doesn't look fun either. But the entire game looks pretty good. It does well, look I pretty good. I thought it was being developed by Insomniac. Yeah, no, but the trailers are basically a Ubisoft game. Alright, that's all the time There's we have a... for today, boys. Unless Nick wants to finish here, we can keep going. Spider-Man. 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 Spider-Man.